have to show, if you guys listen to our podcast with me, Dave, and Bob, we collaborated together and we made this cool table. Watch this video and see how it's done. To give a little bit more context, me, Bob, and Dave have been doing our podcast, making it for close to eight years. And in all that time, we've always threatened to do a collaboration. We actually tried one that didn't really follow through many years ago. And in realizing we were going to get together for this event in Louisville, now is the time to do it. And trying to think of what the collaboration could be, we said we came to the determination that if we each make the same exact shape, but with our own personality on it, then those three shapes can come together to create something functional. We came up with the idea of a table. So each one of us made 120 degrees of a circle that made a 24 inch diameter. And that's how we came up with this idea. And all this conversation was talked through on the podcast. Most, most of it happened in the after show. But I hope that clears up a couple of questions you might have seeing this video from the beginning. And by the end of the video, we get together in Louisville at the Louisville Maker Fair, and we assemble a table. Thank you for watching, and go check out the Making It podcast in its eighth year. So here I'm making one of my memory tables and what I'm putting in there are many of the skulls and the mice, mouse skeletons that I found over the many years. Most of these are from the tractor backhoe restoration that we did a few months back and I saved all the mice, mice mouse skeletons. One thing about putting those type of objects into resin that are natural or porous, it's important to soak them in resin first and then let them hang to dry, hang to drip dry. So for instance, if it's a, an animal or a mummified mouse or something, it's important to get them coated and then let them dry. Otherwise, they might bubble up or foam and that's because there's air trapped in them and sometimes that's what happens. So if you were gonna try and do any sort of natural object in epoxy, it's important to give it a, an individual coat on its own. And determining what I put in the table, I just look around my desk and I see tchotchkes that I don't need anymore, tchotchkes that have just been hanging around. That dollar bill has been on my, on my desk for months. I don't know why I didn't just stick it in my pocket, so I said it would be fun to stick it in the table. And I look for like little wrenches and things that I'm willing to give up. It, 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 with my hoarder mentality, honestly, every little thing down to the spring, the half a compass, all these little dumb things give me anxiety. Send, cut, send has made these for me, so now is a perfect opportunity 
to stick them in resin. And what I'm doing, which doesn't come across so clearly in the video, is I'm making layers. So I'm pouring about a quarter of an inch at a time, and in each quarter inch layer, I'm adding different objects. And I'm trying my best to keep it of a somewhat of a cohesive composition that somehow feels comfortable. And as a matter of getting repetitive, I jump to the ends. And you don't see me do all the layers, but thank you to Total Boat. I'm using high performance two-part epoxy. So thank you, Total Boat, and thank you again. The end is coming soon. More mice stuff. See, the head broke off the skeleton. I got to position it together. There you go. Thank you. I'm using an old wrench as the leg for my section of the table. It is two inches too short for the determined length we came up with. So that's why you see me tapering out the body and then bending over the actual open end of the wrench to become the foot. Here at the I Like to Make Stuff headquarters. And look who's over there. There's I Like to Make Stuff. Uh, the statue of Bob. Oh, there's high gloss. Oh, high gloss. And then there's weird. All right. Wow. This is very good. Ta da! Oh, you yeah. found oh, yeah. But now we're going to give it a clear coat to try and make it look a little sexy. This doesn't look perfect right now, but when we get it back home, I could sand it and buff it and give it one more coat of clear. So the ultimate recipient that will get it. Give I'm just making some more dead animals on top of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm Everyone. just making excuses because I <laughs> don't. Everything is fixable. Yeah. Except in my project where I started completely over. <laughs> <laughs> this looks good on camera. We could fix that. It's just, it's not perfect. Yeah. So Bob, you had some oh. problems too? Yeah, I used some acrylic cement on mine that didn't want to grab and so it ended up having to drip a little bit because I'd use more than I wanted. So, All right. and Dave, uh, my lack of CNC experience. Uh, oh, come on now. Uh, messed mine up pretty good. <laughs> come on now. Here's our three pie shapes. Are we ready for the big reveal? Or yeah, are we going to glue? Yeah. You're rolling. I'm rolling for me. You're rolling for everybody. Uh, mine's got enough coats of lacquer. It should be fine. Oh my gosh! I made mine the correct size. Uh -oh. <laughs> You rolled? <laughs> or, or you and I both screwed up the same. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yay for that's, math. That is that's great. Yay for math. Yeah. Work up. High five. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think so for the win. Feel those edges. Those are put up nice. This the thing is a veneer, the, the front of it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so these, I made, I cut my own veneers. And then you sure left out the whole story? That looks awesome. Dude, that looks nice. Thank that you. looks real nice. Thank you. Let me see. I don't want to mess yours around too much. I'm going to go too close to the edge. Yeah. All good. All right. All right, this is it. Connected for life. Just let the coach unite. Gacha Let me break yeah. that little piece off. We've got um, strap clamp. Do you want to run something around that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, be careful with that acrylic on the front.
have to do something. That's it. Now we take lunch. We go stare at Bob. <laughs> a couple hours, then we come back. I'm gonna throw this around. Yeah. Just we're not gonna take a lot. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do a selfie stick version. Ready? Yeah. This is an up close shot of Bob's section of the table. It is a marble maze and it moves that orange plate back and forth with the knob. You can go check out his video to see it in action. Yeah, depending on which angle you are, Jimmy Oz looks good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's horrible. It's the same with all my projects, actually. It looks great, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's looks good. It only has to look good for a minute or two on camera. So. Like I said, it looks, the, the, the foggy glass looks better on camera than it does in person. One lucky patron of the Making It podcast is going to get this as a gift. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. And the after show. <laughs>